Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday. Now, if you're new here, um, or if you just like to cross-watch, and you don't want to listen to the introduction, and this will be tagged on to all the videos in the front, go right down there, and there should be a timestamp. And what that'll do is that'll bypass the introduction for you. Anyway, I am going to be reading from Monday through Thursday. I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will use my Guardian Tar Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies. And, of course, my pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now for the introduction, we are going to do kind of a universal what's going on in the world reading with my Wade Rider tarot, and I will pull one from my Colette Baron Reed tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this: these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So we have some, the interesting energies for me are on the 15th. So we're kind of in a little bit of a, a stasis, I would say. Now, okay, let's jump ahead. Anyway, the 24th of November, Jupiter will be going direct in Pisces. So you have to, when, when, it's, when things are slowing down to go direct, they almost come to a stop. I would say that right now Jupiter is, if not at, not at that stop, then at a really strong you know, really, you know, really um, slow crawl. Let's put it that way. So things are changing with Jupiter. Jupiter, you know, the, one of the planets, then except for Mars, everything else will be going direct. So, you know, Jupiter's kind of like holding there. Pisces is dream, spirituality, water energy. Jupiter is the god of, or the planet of good fortune, of wishes, of, you know, of big, largest type of energy. So it's kind of slow. It's looking down right now. So the other thing is with the, um, with the dates. The 15th of November, we have Venus, 28 degrees in Scorpio, trining Jupiter, 28 degrees in Pisces. And that's a really positive energy. Trining is very positive. They're Both of them are supporting each other. They're both kind of like, you know, um, basically saying to you know, Venus is saying to Jupiter, hey, let's get together, let's make this work. But again, too, we have those two water signs, again, spiritual energy. Scorpio does not like secrets, but yet Pisces will go into the depths to, you know, to discover the secrets. On the 15th, we also have the sun in Scorpio, trining Neptune again in Pisces, and that's at 22 degrees. Um, so in, you know, in, in itself, the 15th, it feels very good energy it feels very interesting but yet at the same time it it does make me you know it's like one of those times that you go things that make you go hmm hmm what is happening with these energies here the 16th we have mercury and scorpio again trining jupiter we have venus entering on the 16th sagittarius and on the 17th we have mercury entering sagittarius so now we have some of that fire energy coming about some of that action energy so not quite sure where i'm at with this when people would ask you know because we just we had the you know the whole uranus and taurus full moon eclipse um you know they'd ask me when did when did i think that some of that energy would change and i would say and i would say you know like basically anywhere from like the 11th to the 15th uh the 15th but again the 15th just has a different energy to it i really can't tell you what I'm feeling with it. So let's go ahead and pull some cards or have the cards jump out. And not quite sure. Oh, there's there's that card right there. This one is this one is reversed. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. Well, we have things that are upside down usually have a little stronger energy. Court cards have our dual energy. So pages underlying energy will be um, earth and that is our pentacle energy, that is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money, job, career. Knights, which this is, the underlying energy is our fire energy, and that would be our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, and determined. Now, queens, 
have our water energy or our cup energy. And that is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, fluid, emotional, and very spiritual energy. And then we have our kings, whose underlying energy is swords or air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Thought processes, make, you know, thinking things through, also making some plans, also hearing news. So what do we have going on for the week of, you know, of the 14th through the 17th, we get, we come and we start out with the Knight of Pentacles. So underlying energy, again, that fire, that passion, that action energy, wanting to make movement, wanting to have, you know, get things done, wanting things to actually move, okay? Knights are directional, so they go where they're directed. They go, you know, they'll go when they get started, okay? So this one wants to go here. I find this interesting that it's not directly to the side. It's actually a little bit off, you know, off to the side. So it is an interesting energy with that. It's kind of like the horse is not necessarily going the way that we really think it's going to go. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So that underlying is fire. Pentacles, that earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So the Knight of Pentacles stands still for a moment. The Knight of Pentacles wants to make some movement, wants things to change, wants to have some action. However, the Knight of Pentacles is very deliberate in his movement. He wants to make sure that what he's doing is basically the best calculated risk that he can do. Once he's made that, made that decision, once he's plotted out whatever he needs to plot out, he then gets to work. And he, when he gets to work, things happen a lot faster than you would think. So something with that going on. Now we have that four. Remember, numbers have some energy, have a lot of energy too. Um, we're using them for a very um, positive vibration. We're using our numbers to raise our vibrations. So we have the Four of Cups, that water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have that Four, a stability, leadership, organization. The Four of Cups is that card that's just in that old in-between stage. I, you know, it's kind of like if you look, he's kind of, you know, he's sitting there with his arm crossed, not necessarily embracing his his present and yet not necessarily embracing his future. I call this, again, that in-between time. Sometimes this is the waiting time. Sometimes this is just that frustrating, why isn't stuff happening? Why isn't that knight running into battle? Why isn't that knight moving? Okay, so we have to be a little bit more deliberate. We have to make our plans. Why, why, why? It's very frustrating energy. You see, he's looking at his three of cups, not necessarily happy with them, not, not wanting to knock them down either. There's a divine cup coming and saying, hey, look at me, look at me. We've got some opportunities here. Just kind of like not really, um, not really ready to make a move, not ready to make a move. So let's see what this mystery one on the floor was. Temperance. So we have a 14 energy. Again, we have that one energy, which is a new beginning, new start. And then we have that four that I just talked about. Add the four, one and four together becomes five, and it's all about change. So temperance is all about balance, is all about waiting, all about compromise, all about not making that move, not making that move, not rushing into anything right now. It's just waiting, 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 waiting. Um, it's have patience. Um, things are, you know, things are happening, but just have patience. So it's an interesting energy. Have patience. Things are happening. Uh, once we get this, once we really figure it all out, this night does get to work and does make some big changes. So it's kind of a frustrating energy for this week. We will see what we will see. Okay, let's see what we have with the Colette Baron Reed energy here. Ha Higher power. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, Holy Spirit, God, Source, and ask just, just give the people, give what they need, what they need. So let's see what we've got here. Also, too, remember down there, down there is the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Really, um, you know, it, it's important to keep to support the channel, to support me by doing that. I really do appreciate you doing that. Um, it keeps, it does keep me going. I mean, if I, if, if things, if people aren't watching, then it's kind of like, do I continue? So please like, share, subscribe. Many people have told me, 
that they have, um, many people have told me that they have had to resubscribe in order to get um, the video. So for what, some reason, maybe I'm too positive of a message, um, it doesn't always come out. So anyway, so now we have the four of fire. So we have that four energy again. We have that fire energy. Can um, I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And remember, Sagittarius energy is starting to really pick up right now. That fire energy, that adventurous energy, that directional energy, that action energy is starting to move. The four of fire, the four of rods, is traditionally a celebratory energy. Is you know, it's kind of like a um, a graduation, a wedding. It's like the culmination. It's a culminative type accumulative type of energy and it's a you know you've gotten to this point you're now ready for your next chapter so the four of fire actually is a loving lovely energy to have it is an energy you really want to have so it's kind i don't know is it kind of like after all the waiting things come to you know things come to a culmination things you know things now move 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 it could be but this also is one of the celebratory cards so interesting with that okay again remember to like share subscribe click on the bell interesting stuff um you know just interesting stuff going on as always okay why don't we start our videos now hello my libras and how are you well this week has some different energies can't quite grab you know get my head around it yet it will come though it will come but it does feel and I've talked about this on all the videos. You're my last one. It does feel like there's a change. Change is in the air. Kind of getting that uh, Mary Poppins thing where that where the wind, um, what was that called? What is the thing that, um, you know, spins around? And it's like a change is in the air. So let's see. Let's see what that is for you. The weather vine. The weather vane. The weather vane. And it just kind of shows the direction. There's a change. Change is happening. Interesting stuff. So let's see. So if you cross watch, you'll hear me talk a little bit about that too. Um, it's been interesting. Some of the some of the cards have been popping up a lot. And you know, I shuffle. I shuffle in between the readings. I shuffle, you know, during the readings. It's just there's change, and then there's it's just very interesting the um, the synchronicities that have been going on with the readings too. So let's see. Uh, higher power. Holy Spirit, what do you have for our Libras? What would you like our Libras to know? Let's shuffle one more time and see what we got here. Let's go on. Let's shuffle one more time. Let's see. What do we have for our Libras? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. All right. And regardless of what goes on in the world, we have to live our lives. So, first card is the Ace of Michael. So, Ace is a one, new beginning, new start. Michael is your energy. It's also Aquarius and Gemini. And you know Aquarius and Gemini have the Saturn's in Aquarius. Gemini has Mars in it. So, it's really strong stuff going on right now for them. Um, it is your thought process, making plans, thinking things through. There's a new direction here coming. There's a new thought coming. There's a new way of looking at stuff coming. There's a new challenge, but it's a, something that's going to be quite enthusiastic, something you're really going to enjoy. But again, one, new beginning, new start. Your thought processes, making plans. You could even be hearing news about something happening. That it's Again, it's a very positive energy. It's a very positive um, direction. Maybe I'm not going to say it's always easy, but you know how to navigate. Anyway, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. There you go. Next card, the world. The world. We've been getting a lot of ones in the energies too. So the world. The world is Archangel Michael. Michael is the warrior angel, the protecting angel, um, the leader of the archangels. We have a 21, so we have a two, which is choices, decisions, crossroads, coming together. We have a one again, new beginning, new start. Two plus one is a three, celebration, creativity, also the power of three. The world is like 
you've done what you needed to do. You're where you're needed to be. You you know, basically, this is like coming, you know, well, it says coming full circle, a very happy ending, spiritual growth and insights. And as you come full circle, then you have another circle to come, you know, to, to start up again. But the world is one of these energies that's just like opening things up for you and very, very positive, very loving, very caring. Now, what you do with this, what you do with this type of energy is, you know, you can stay there and you can work with this energy for a while, or you can take what you've learned and start, you know, start the next cycle, start the next batch. But either way, you've got a one, two, one. Either way, you look at it. Next card is reversed. Ace of Raphael, and like I told you, ones have been very strong with these readings too. New beginning, new starts. One again, ace again. Raphael is our water energy, and that's the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I told you, Pisces and Scorpio, there's something, there's something that's, uh, that's churning. Those waters are churning. Okay, this might be a new relationship. This might be a new love. This might be something that really has your emotions going. This is something that's, again, it's, it's between these, it's a new adventure. It's where you need to be going. It's a new, it's, a ne it's your next step. It's a, new, um, it's a new emotional situation. It's very loving, very caring energy with the Ace of Raphael. So you've got all this one energy here. You've got the two energy. So it's one, two, one, 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 two, one. Lots of positivity here, okay? And we're doing this. So you think about the 11 and the ones, and I'm doing this on November 11th. So 11, 11, and we have 2202. So there's a lot of synchronicity with the numbers for you too. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So something going on, maybe there's a really strong connection with your higher power going on for you. Um, there's also connection with your angels. There's a connection maybe with somebody that's on this earth too. So there's all these, these new and exciting opportunities, new and exciting beginnings for you. And, and a lot of it is because something, you know, there is this ending and something begins. Okay? With every ending, there is a beginning. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. Let's see what we've got going here. Tell me what this is for you, my... My Libras, I love the ones. I love the ones that we've been getting. I've been getting a lot. Okay, okay. Okay, sure. We got a couple of cards that have fallen, so we will read them. Here we go. We will read them. Here we go. First one is the messenger of action. So the messenger is the page. This is the page of fire. Page is underlying energy, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Fire energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is, usually this has to do with your home or your job. Um, it's like a new, or it could be even getting a message. So this is the page energy. It could be also, like I said, receiving. Something that um, has to do with a very tangible energy, but it's a very exciting energy. It's a very passionate energy too. So something new and exciting, exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. I love that. Okay, this one's reversed. A happy change. You've got the one again. You've got the 10 energy again. All of these ones are all around you. This is the wheel of fortune. This is things have to happen. Things have to move. It cannot stay stagnant any longer. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. The Wheel of Fortune. So you've got the world and then the Wheel of Fortune. Really interesting. Goes around, comes around. Next card. Seven of Thought. Now this is the Seven of Air. 
And this this is one of those energies that's just kind of like, I, you know, just kind of a confusing energy. And it's just like, I can't really, I can't get my head around it type of energy. So seven is a divine number. I look at it as the divine umbrella, divine covering. Sometimes the di divine um, intervention, many times the divine interference. Thought is our air energy, your energy, okay? But this, listen to the words. You've been confused about a situation in your life, and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Whether the truth was revealed by your angels, discovered by a friend, or discovered on your own, it feels great to be awake and aware. Feel free to ask for time alone if that's what you need. All of a sudden, your eyes are wide open. Wow. Wow. Lots of things going on for my Libras. I'm going to claim this one for you. We're claiming this. Okay. Um, inspirational wisdom from our angels and fairies. Let's see. For my Libras, what do we have here? What do we have here for my, fairy, for my Libras from the angels and fairies? What do we have here? Here we go. Here we go. I, this, I mean... The energies are wonderful for you. Wonderful. So use them. Reversed? Not reversed. I'm sorry. Not reversed. Mushroom fairy. Step into the light to rejoice and celebrate all the good there is in you. I like that. Celebrate all the good there is in you, my Libras. Lovely. Okay, let's see what we've got here. What crystal or energy would be helpful for my Libras? What would be good for my Libras here? I love all your ones. I know we have a 10-7. I mean, you know, so, you know, we have that. Um, interesting energies. But all those ones are there. Okay, here we go. Black Obsidian. You know, one of my favorites. Well, they, they pretty much all are, aren't they? Strength, support during changes, everyday stress relief, clears negative energy. Truly it does. I rule, yeah, and black obsidian, black tourmaline, all of the black stones, they, they really work wonderful with that. Anyway, my Libras, wow, I love it. All the ones, good stuff. Anyway, take a moment, please, to comment, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. I have to tell you, doing that helps keep me coming back. I really need you to do these things. So please do. So thank you. As always, though, my Libras, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.